Hi, we are here to talk to you about the need that we have for volunteers for our bingo program here at St. Henry. We have a great core group of folks that have made this bingo incredibly successful over the last several years. But unfortunately, a lot of the parents that have been helping out have uh, their youngest kids in eighth grade this year, or they don't have kids that are at uh, St. Henry anymore. So we are looking to recruit some more uh, interested folks to get into the program and help us out. So why, Bill, do we do, we do bingo? Why do we want to do bingo? What, what's it do for our budget? You know, uh, the, the school is a fantastic school, National Blue Ribbon School, and it's great at teaching uh, reading, writing, arithmetic. Uh, but in addition to that, we're also trying to uh, generate a whole new generation of leaders. And for that, we need places like St. Henry to be able to teach the three C's uh, to the kids, so, uh, for them to be confident, contributing, and connected and something you can't get at just any other school, and it's something that unfortunately kind of comes at a cost. Don, can you talk a little bit about how we fund the school? Sure, it, the, the last full year that we had before the coronavirus, Bingo brought in about $120,000 to the school. That's money that we use to do all of the things that uh, Bill just said that set us apart from other schools, and we obviously want to continue that tradition and in order to do so, it takes the funds that we need to, uh, from bingo in order to be able to do that. And of course, that requires, as Bill was saying, the use of volunteers. We need your help. We need volunteers to keep the bingo flowing so that we have the revenue that we need to keep doing what we've always done, making St. Henry number one in, in our diocese. You know, our bingo program is incredibly successful and it's not just because of the money that we bring in. We have a well-established group of volunteers. We have a well-established set of policies, procedures. We know how to run a bingo. Um, and we have just an absolutely fantastically loyal fan base. Ryan, you know, you were standing up at the front door as people were coming in the first day we were open. Tell us about that. Yeah, the first day we reopened, we had upwards of 70 people come in, I think that night. and. And they were really excited to be here. They were there were tears in some of their eyes. We we got hugs, we got high fives, we got fist bumps just for being reopened again. So we, we really do, you know, give back to the community and, and provide a service for the community for folks that, that are ready to get out of their homes and, and spend time with, with other people. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing just the, the, the folks that come in here on a regular basis. It's almost like, a, like another family to have. Um, and on top of that, we have all of our parents and our parishioners that come in and help us out. And because of all of that, we're able to not only uh, have some people come in, have fun, and, and win some money, but we're also able to keep the school uh, well-funded, right? So we don't have to buy uh, wrapping paper at $7 a square inch or you know stale cookie dough that we're gonna throw out later anyway. Um, it's a way that we, as a private and Catholic institution, can leverage the community to help pay for the schools the same way some of the public schools do, right? So we can, we can expand our funding base a little bit that way by providing them with that service. There's volunteer opportunities for anyone. We have, you know, part-time volunteer opportunities where you come early and can leave a little bit early. We have some folks that work late and come after they get off work just to count some money at the end of the night. We have standing positions. We have positions where you get to walk around and get your steps in that night. And we have positions where you just sit all night too. There's some folks like to, you know, come in and don't like to walk around. And there's, there's positions for those type of folks as well. And if you know you're really into wearing stupid hats and um, you know really like a good challenge and like to make sure that uh, you know you're using your organizational skills to you know really lift up the the school, the parish, and, and really the whole community, um, you know we can uh, we can talk about coming in and coordinating everything that we do here and uh, and taking over uh, this this fantastic organization that we've built. So what do they need to do if they want to volunteer? All you need to do is reach out to Ryan Beal, myself, Bill Ehrman, um, anybody in the uh, front office of the parish or the school can point you in our direction. And we are more than happy to, uh, to get you in, show you what bingo is all about, 
what opportunities there are and help you find something that matches your skill set and, uh, and helps out the parish.